everyone. Welcome back to the AGA Studios. Today we're going to be talking about transfers. And when I say transfers, what I mean is the transfer of ink from one surface to another. I have three ways, um, three methods that I'm going to show you uh, that I think you'll find really interesting. Now transfers are really good if you want to add layering or some really fun elements to your artwork. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is you want to gather a bunch of inspiration images. So I just went through some old magazines that we have here at the gallery, and I just pulled a couple um, that I thought were kind of interesting and had a relationship to one another. So, um, so once you have your images, you can set those aside. Now, the first one technique I'm gonna show you just uses carbon paper. This is a really nice way of transferring things to a surface. So carbon paper, is, is looks just like this. You can get it at any stationery store. Um, you wanna put the black side down on top of your paper. And then I was really inspired by this image earlier. So I'm gonna use this image. So I'm just gonna line it up on my paper. And what I'm gonna do is just sort of draw or trace the lines. I guess it's kind of like a tracing of sorts. Um, but it's a nice way to sort of quickly document um, a composition that you're really interested in. Or I can show you. So I'll just lift that up so you can see. Look at how beautiful those lines are. They're, they just give it an extra little bit. Of, the lines are quite dark, but they're also very soft and beautiful. Um, in a similar way, you could do that with an image. So if I wanted to... And so you could just quickly transfer it to your paper. And I'm going to come back to that in a little while. All right. Okay. The second technique that I want to show you uses gel. Gel is a, an artist medium. It comes, it, well, it doesn't have to come in a big tub like this. This is just what we had at the gallery. So it's just thick and white, um, and it will dry clear, which is really great. Okay, so with a gel transfer, what, what you want to do is you want to have your image. So I'm going to use this little coyote here um, for my transfer. And I'm going to take the ink that's sitting on top of the copy paper, and I'm going to transfer it to my uh, watercolor paper. So it's, it's key here that you use either um, old magazines or, um, or a recent photocopy. So something that's less than a couple of hours old. And that's just because the, it'll be easier to transfer the ink. So with the gel, what you wanna do is pick up a bit of gel and then you just wanna paint the surface of your image and then I'm going to find a place here to lay it down um, and then I'm going to take a mem old membership card and I'm, oh okay I'll just make sure that's there and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently <laughs> smooth this out okay you want to make sure that there's no uh, air bubbles and that the contact is really good. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for a second or so. 
the third technique I'm going to show you uses parking tape. Yeah. So again, I'm going to use my little coyote. And the hardest part of this is finding the end of the packing tape. So if you can do that quickly, you are amazing. So I've done this a couple times, and I know that I need more than one piece of tape. So I'm just going to cut two while I'm here. OK, so what you want to do is you want to lay the tape down without it wrinkling. Now that's going to be a bit of a problem for me later, but I'm going to take my card and I'm going to try to get that bubble out. Because any creases or bubbles that are in the packing tape will prevent the ink from transferring in that area. So yeah, the trickiest part here. Okay, um, and like I said, because I have some uh, paper left over that didn't get covered by the tape, I need to use a second piece of tape and I'm just gonna lay it down on top so that there's some overlap too. And then in a similar way, I'm just gonna make sure all that there are no air bubbles. Okay. And then I should be able to pull both of these up like this. So what you'll have is your paper um, stuck to your packing tape. And now I'm just going to dunk it in the water. And you have to let it sit for a few minutes. Just basically what's happening is that you're softening um, the paper that is behind the tape. OK, I'm just going to move this to the side. And we're just going to go back to our pack or to our um, gel transfer. OK, so I have a sponge here, and I just it's a bit damp, and so I'm just going to gently put some water. You can see that it's starting to change color, and that's good. That means that the paper is getting wet. OK, so you'll notice, if you use your finger, you'll notice that as when the paper is wet and as you start to move your finger along on the paper, it's starting to pill. So it's starting to pick up the paper. You're, start, you, you're able to pick up the paper. Um, and that's exactly what you want to do. So using a sponge will help you get a lot of the paper off, but you might have to still use your finger in order to feel if you've gotten all of the, all of it off. So. And if you do go too hard, you'll notice that you'll pick up the ink. So you have to be really careful here. I should have let this sit longer to dry, um, but I was too excited to show you the results. So I'll just deal with that later. So this just shows though that this process is not um, perfection, that there are a lot of happy accidents that happen along the way and, um, and that we can just, you know, make those work and try something else. So I could definitely, um, do something with this guy a little bit later. So you can kind of see that. So I can keep you know, I'm going to let that dry and kind of brush the paper away and then I'll figure out what to do. I can re kind of reconstruct his head maybe with some pencil crayons or some other art tools. Okay, next we're going to go back to the packing tape. So it's been in its little bath for a little while. So I'm just going to pull that out and lay it down um, sticky side up. So in a similar way to the, uh, to the gel transfer, I'm going to rub with my sponge. Have an extra cloth here and sort of get rid of some of that paper. As long as you're seeing white, it means that the paper is still there. So you really have to go over it couple of times. Now, once it dries, if there's still a haze on it, it's not clear, 
it means that there's still more paper that needs to come off. So, um, so go ahead and just re-wet it, uh, let, the, let that paper soften, and then gently use your fingers to, to get rid of it. Eventually it will come off again if you use too much strength or you rub too hard the ink will start to come off, so you have to have a gentle touch. Um, and then once you're done, you have this beautiful transfer here, and it's got this kind of iridescence or luminosity, uh, transparency that's quite lovely to play with. So earlier, so this is just from Earlier, so I took that drawing that I uh, that I did with the carbon paper. I painted just a little bit of watercolor there, and now I can put my little guy transferred on there. Let's see, and then you can get a sense of what that looks like. So, ta-da! Fun. All right, so I'm just going to show you a couple of other things. So what's great about pack, or about transfers is that you can you can do it on multiple surfaces. So here I did it on a piece of masonite. So you can see that when it dried, whoops, you can see that when it dried, I didn't quite get all of the paper off. So I need to go back. I need to wet this again, and I go back with my fingers and rub off some of that haze, um, like so. And then I d also did a canvas. So I started by painting a little bit, and then I added. With, a, with gel transfer, the text. So I just put it to add some texture or interest to my drawing and painting. Um, and then also I added these geese. So you can also see there's still some haze here. So I'm gonna have to go back. Um, here, you might be able to see that I, that I rubbed too hard. So I had to draw the body back in here. Um, and that's okay. Again, it's this is an imperfect uh, technique, but it does add some uh, some fun and interesting elements to your artwork. So I hope you give it a try. If you do, please share with us. We're always interested to see what our friends are doing at home um, or in the classroom. So please feel free to, to share with us online or send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. In the meantime, happy creating. Bye-bye.